right, guys. So now we're gonna get a little bit deeper. Yeah. Inside. So. Right. <laughs> 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 All right. So um, the next one is about the post that um, Sterling put up um, the other day, which is a footballer, Raheem, Raheem Sterling, and um, basically he put up two posts side by side. And one was of a black football player from Manchester City and his teammate, a white boy. Yeah? He's a white boy. Sorry. Yeah, so um yeah, so the first headline for the young black man. <laughs> I can't help you, that was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> she basically is like doing boy. what they're doing but to us. <laughs> <Isn't> <laughs> it? Yeah, like, is that good. black football? She was, like, like, oh, yeah, she was white literally white like boy. start on the black side. <laughs> yeah. The black man come first. All right. All right. So I young ain't gonna lie, he don't, he don't look properly. White though. No, he know, doesn't, does he? There's no matter how many words to them. Like, yeah. But, sorry, sorry, it's sorry. Kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's a good point, though. All that's right. a good point. So he says, the Daily Mail says, young Manchester City footballer, 20, on 25k a week, splashes out on mansion on market for 2.25 million, despite having never started a Premier League match. Shade. Mm. No, that was a palm tree. We talk about shade. It we is the whole palm tree. Like, Trust me. <laughs> Next thing now. Manchester City starlet Phil Foden. Phil. You're taking a minute. Phil. <laughs> buys new two million home for his mum. How sweet, Phil. Oh, did anybody notice the glaring differences in those uh, yeah. those headlines? I first and foremost, first and foremost the, big up the both of them thing. for buying the yard. Yes. Big up yourself, Phil, yeah, and big it. up yourself, unnamed black boy who plays for Manchester City Football Club, yeah? I never noticed they never put his, his name, name on it. I named my oh brother. Oh, my God. Respect it, but man. both of you, big job. No, good job. Good job, both of you. Big up, honestly. Oh, now However, let's get to the, um, to the yeah. unknown young black man more power to you because you know what no seriously i'll give him more power to you because nobody wanted them to know your name mm. that's how deep that's how worried mm. they are about you so you keep going okay big up but why why are they still getting away with doing these things like that wasn't even a headline that was a whole paragraph like that should exactly. be like, that's true and what is the objective like what how why are you trying to paint this innocent quote unquote i use that lightly because i don't know the man personally he could be innocent could be not in it whatever why are you having to paint him in a particular light in comparison to the white boy like what's What's the problem? Fear. Are they both the same? The same um, age? No newspapers. Yes, yes the same, same newspaper. Yes, different, same. no, but oh, different. No. It is different. Yeah. 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 It, it was about nine out a nine ten hour difference between the two articles. No, but wow. one, no, one was one was. It was, it was, it was yeah. two different people that wrote it, but they still it? no, but they still it's still it's being written by the same newspaper. Look at the timestamp on it. Yeah, the timestamps. Uh, like within twelve hours of each other. I didn't check the date. Maybe the date on the the date on the actual um article itself um so my brother yeah you're yeah right. my Once brother's can, article yeah, yeah. was released in january mm. and phil's article was released a few days ago i believe yeah 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 um that's bad man man i don't like them things man yeah fifth, no fifth of october you can't do them january, things so there man phil's was released um, released on the fifth of october and this young man our brother was released on the 11th of january I don't like that. I don't like that at all. At the end 100%. of the day, right? This has been happening to us for centuries. Me tired of it. No. Yeah. At the end of the day, I'm tired yeah. Of these conversations. I'm tired it's of this conversation. So I'm tired of it. You know what? Yeah. I've got a I've got a son to grow up in the in this world and see and read things like this, and I encourage my son to read every day. And and if he pick up a paper and sees this type of bullshit, that. Like, no, I do think it's because of who runs the media, but I also think it's because we also, to a certain extent, accept it. You know it, how you yeah. said, like, you've yeah. got a son, you know, I've got a son and a daughter to raise. And as far as I'm concerned, if they, they do like, they do enjoy reading, just like Marissa's son, do you know what I mean? And if they do pick up that paper, the worst thing about that is they're so uninformed and unexperienced that they're going to take that. That is literally True. what they're going to take and that's how they're going to see it. And they're going to take that in they're subconsciously be it, and believe that they are always supposed to be second best or they're just going to be, you know, that's how you're supposed to explain yourself. And that's not it. It's not it at all. It's not acceptable. And uh, unless we do something about it, we stand up and say something mm -hmm. about it. Have more discussions like this. I know you said you're tired of having a discussion. No, 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 but I'm tired of it in, in terms of the fact that 
it's getting old that newspapers still feel, feel they, like they're able to do sells. it because what we have to understand with media is that whatever sells is what they're going to promote right they know that if i put this however 60 word headline kind of discrediting this black boy people are going to talk about it mm-hmm. which means people are going to have to go to the article to read it that's why i'm saying it's old like they, mm-hmm. they yeah, can still condition us in that whole process of being able to commercialize how they put us out there yeah. That's what I'm tired of. Not necessarily. Like, so do you think we need to know, we need to work more as a culture and not being able to be provoked Absolutely, by it? Yeah. Absolutely. Or when they, you hold know, on, is it that we need to start purchasing those same newspapers and start putting out our own articles? The social media is making people, you know, like if we decide to go on social media and start um, adding and, and co-tweeting the, the given black boy and he receives clout, the next um, newspaper that's to write about him, there's no way you're going to discredit him because we will now know who he is. Yeah. Yeah. We've already validated that person so you can't come and and take that away from him do you know what that's a good point it's can true. i just say yeah one of the things i've noticed in the last few months and i'm late for these kind of things guys so bear with me here yeah <laughs> but twitter is powerful it is it listen is. i did Why not come realize so fast he's got you a music know, listen, video a he has a music video now. He's if got you, a music video. No, sorry. If you let a, if you if a company messes with you now, have you noticed if you tweet out that that company has messed with you, how quickly those people are in your DMs talking it's about true. let me fix it's this true. for you? Do you know what so I mean? True. Like, it is very really, it's a really really powerful tool. So maybe we need to start looking at how we can use it. Like you said, start Utilize tweeting. That. I want to know his name. Mm-hmm. I want to know his name because you know what that newspaper. If anyone is the out there on the live, name. please let us know his name. We really need Hold to know. Look, we need this, to contact him. Look, in terms of football, this has been going on years like footballers quit over this um even ian wright mm-hmm. he retired young because mm. there's too much racism in football you know so it's one where it don't matter what year it is what it doesn't matter what year it is it's still gonna happen to it, but right. listen stop. that's the problem like this that's down to the country like, oh, no 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 it's down this is the country we live in like no matter how we try to change that kind of thing no, 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 like no matter how we try to change it it's not gonna then they're, they're never gonna do anything about it no, think about it before now before before these articles are allowed to leave the uh, for, for print the chief editor has to read these it's articles definitely. if the editor-in-chief is allowing allowing it to go past his desk let's boycott no, 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 the no, editor no, no, in wait, chief wait, 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 of daily mail in those terms <laughs> but if i if me and my 10 friends decide to go on twitter and and and, and at let's say the independent how comes in january you wrote this and in, in, in november you wrote this what your answer is that very same chief editor has to think of an answer to give Most and definitely. Social media is real. Mm. We can see mm. you in real life. When you're mm-hmm. mm and ah and trying to pull the wool over our heads, it's not going to bang. Yeah. And no one's picking up your paper tomorrow, so you mm-hmm. need to know how to deal with it. Mm-hmm. Well, we're just not putting it out there for them. We need to ask them questions so they can yeah. answer them. No one's questioning these people. We get questioned, but we're not asking the hard questions. Who just did an advert, sorry, just uh, recently, I think it was Dolce & Gabbana or D&G, they did uh, an advert, I think it was for um, one of their new collections, and it was something to do with the Chinese. And they all boycotted no, i can't remember what brand it was it was a very well established designer brand but basically the chinese boycotted them started throwing away their, their goods started ripping them started putting on social media bashing them they did a public like um, announcement in to basically they cancelled one of their, their runway shows in china wow, as well that's it big. was so impactful in the, in the fashion industry surely because people went on social media and showed that they were so it was so distasteful what they put out there if the chinese can do it we but do you know what that, it, that if women can go out and say that women that brings me to my next point on this situation issues, like, do you not think yeah that um as as black people we sit down and we complain so much about what's going on and then we pass our pass our about it within our own community we never go to the guy and be like what the Keep mm. doing, bruv. Like, don't treat my brother like that. Don't treat my sister like that. Listen, as a community, we need to stick together and ensure that we uplift one another. Not drawing out our phones mm-hmm. and recording people, our people them. Not not chatting our yes. people them on the social yes. media, on these dead gossip, gossip and um, bloody um, blogs and that, yeah? We need to take it further. Do you understand? Black people need to read. Right. It's not even Someone just about said, reading. if you want to hide something from black people, put in a book. It's yeah. true. When black a people truth. start understanding their roots, when they start to identify with history, we will move differently. What we don't understand is that black people 
way back when, yeah, when this whole slavery stuff was going on, we were trained like dogs. Yeah. When a black person sees another black person, they screw each other. They they stop growling. We were yeah. trained like dogs. It was so we bad that it actually like went through no. our bloodstream yeah, I'm sorry, hold on, no, 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 no. hold on, ladies, ladies, can I, hold on, can I just stop yeah, yeah. you there? Because then this is where I see us going back as a people. Do you get what I'm saying? No, no, no. No, no, no. It's not, we, hold on, no, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. We can have this conversation because we know, but people are not reading. People still no, don't no, identify no. with the, the I sheer get principle of, of the, knowing why. But we're still, knowledge. Knowledge. hold on, my problem is, how? we're still just conversating on it. Hear what? My thing is there, my dad always said to me, and this is literally from a kid, he said to me, if you can't change the people, change the people mm. so my biggest thing now is i don't want to talk about it i want to get somebody in a position that is that chief editor now mm. if i want yeah, to change we need to build our own things going to be done i'm going to do that so I'm, I'm not going to go that. back anymore and say do you know what when we were in slavery we were trained as dogs i don't care how we were trained in slavery i'm about to change, change that now, yeah. i'm gonna change it it's we need to build up our own to thing sit down now. and say this is what happened in the past i know what happened in the past i know where i'm going well, what now. i'm saying is so I'm not, I, I completely close yeah. on what you're saying but you can't also afford to have people to put people in power that don't know this truth because there's been a lot of there are a lot of black people That's that the are truth. in position of power but because they don't know these truths what are you doing no hold on but i don't think it's those people that those particular black people that are in power i don't think they're for us do you get what i'm saying mm. they've been put in power by other people by what i'm saying is for us though yeah. as black people one of the well, things we, we don't figure know it, is, yeah, figure no, it, it? but we don't actually recognize our own power we're sitting down and we, yeah, yeah you have to realize yeah in this day and age like being black here yeah, black people as a race of black people most black people don't even want to go back to africa if you haven't noticed these our, our generation and generations below us they're like why am i going africa for what, what am i what, what's the point what, what do i want to go do in africa no, in the last few years, I've so, seen the opposite. No, 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 I'm even no, no. Nigerian. I was thinking, eight, nine, 29, 2018, what's good? Like, I feel like quite mm. a few of us are quite yeah, in tune with our yeah, yeah, a lot of us are. Like, yeah. There's, There's still, still a lot. lot. But the biggest thing for us here, yeah, was that we were trying to get the point across that these articles here are actually what are bringing down our the next generation yeah, and our yeah, youth. Yeah, yeah. So I want for our youth to be uplifted, or what we want is for our youth to be uplifted.